Oh, my darling. Um, I'm so happy to see you. And we're a little uh, casual tonight because, um, <laughs> well, I am. Um, I've been caretaking my elderly mother. It's so strange to go from like walking red carpets and being fabulous and then and then as doing the right thing, which is taking care of an elderly woman whom I love and trying to make her life better. But it's not glamorous. <laughs> so I remember a few years ago celebrating New Year's Eve in a penthouse and wearing a white dress and being very blonde and acting very blonde and this year i spent new year's eve like reading spiritual texts meditating and uh at the stroke of midnight raising a glass of water and saying thank you for everything higher power anyway i hope you had a lovely and much more interesting new year's um so we're going to talk a little about resolutions today right before we take calls and i'm right here just, I can't wait to meet people who are calling today, tonight, because for some reason, I tend to get just the most wonderful people in the world calling in. Um, anyway, so resolutions, you know how when we're younger, uh, we tend to think like, okay, I'm going to quit everything on New Year's Eve, on New Year's Day, and then I'm going to, it's going to stay that way. And so then when you get a little older, Older. Not that I would know, but I've heard. Um, you find out that change you try to sort of force overnight, uh, it's a little tough to keep. Um, Oscar Wilde, the playwright, once said, Beware of any endeavor which requires a new outfit. And what he meant was um, anything you have to sort of buy a whole new outfit kind of isn't new for uh, obviously like weddings don't count but um is probably something you should think about and weddings do count in that in that sense so what i like to do is use the time between new year's day and january 6th which is the last of the 12 days of christmas and in the christian calendar it's epiphany why do we do this because i found out in the past that giving up everything on uh, New Year's Day, it makes me feel deprived, cranky, resentful, and more likely to go into the freezer for Kit, or that Kit Kat bar that is the one that I know I didn't throw up um, at 2 a.m. So what I'd suggest is um, taper off between now and January 6th. If you're doing intermittent fasting or you're, you're cutting out carbs or, or you're giving up Boy Scouts, whatever it is, um, you didn't hear me say that. Um, just do a little at a time and give yourself a big pat on the back or give yourself like a gold star or something that makes you happy. Um, and I'd like to share a couple of things that I've learned over the years. Oh, we've got Bunny in Montreal. Hi, Bunny. I'm Bunny, do you mind if I just share a couple of the things that i like to... Oh, I'm sorry. Say that again. No, because I don't oh, have you on speaker, so it's hard to hear you. Do you mind waiting one minute? I'm just going to read this New Year's thing, and it's, I will dedicate it to you. Funny. Uh, so every New Year's, I like to think back over what I've learned over the past year. So I wanted to share some of these. What I've learned from readings, what I've learned from being a person. Um, so number one, accept and appreciate people for who they are. Don't try and change them or want something they can't give. They're giving what they can give. Enjoy it. You know how people will get into a relationship and then they'll, they'll ignore all the things that person said about who they are and let's turn to <laughs> Okay, the second thing is, and this is huge, I teach this in my classes about uh, how to be psychic without really trying. Trust your gut. So if your head is saying, no, he would never do that, and your gut is saying, but this is definitely what I'm thinking he is doing, uh, trust your gut. <laughs> it's not always fun, but it is effective. So, or if a new job seems perfect, but your gut is saying, 
no. Um, listen to it. You don't have to not take the job, but just, just start listening. Sometimes I'll even just sort of go down into my belly button. Not literally because that would be strange, uh, impossible, awkward. And, but I'll go down to sort of that chakra. The, it's the solar chakra. Like your belly button and right above. So it's yellow light. So if you picture, if you have a decision to make, you want to breathe in some like yellow golden light and go to your sort of navel and right above it and sort of go into that yellow light and ask what you really feel. You'll get an answer. It might not always be what you wanted to be, but it'll be right. Um, and a couple more. Have a spiritual practice. Uh, rosary, um, chant nam myoho ringi kyo, worship Kermit the Frog. I don't care. Do something. Pray, meditate. But it's good to remember that something bigger <laughs> um, breathes through us and loves us. Um, these two I'm, I'm just going to do because thank you, buddy, for being so nice. Uh, hang on. Okay, don't lie. Not you, Bunny. You never lie. But, but so this yeah, is one of my <laughs> pieces of advice this year. So don't lie. Just don't. It hurts you and uh, everyone around you. Uh, even if you think you're doing it to be nice, uh, you're not being nice. You're actually being, um, how can I say this, tactfully, cowardly and self-serving. Not very good at tactful. Being genuinely nice is respecting other people enough to be honest with them. Not lying seems hard at first, but your life gets better so much faster that you'll, you'll dig it. And besides, if we lie, we always get caught one way or another. If not at the moment, then trust me, eventually. Um, so it's, a, it's, a really, it's, a, it's something that's really helped my life. Um, the exceptions to this are if you ask me about my age or weight, in which case don't lie to me. Right out the window. Okay, uh, don't cheat. This is so important. Uh, if you're with somebody and you meet somebody else and, you know, lights are going off, cartoon birds are circling your head going like... Anyway, um, be honest. Just be honest about it. And either end the thing you're in first. I mean, excuse me, not either. End the thing you're in first before you act on your new romantic impulse. The thing is, if you cheat um, and you wind up eventually leaving for the other person, you've kind of doomed your chance for a real relationship with the new person. And also, you're diminishing your own greatness and cherished ducklings. You have so much greatness. And here's a couple more, and then, Bunny, I'm all yours to keep. Um, share your strengths, not your weaknesses. Oh, geez, I have to remember this. No one wants to hear all your problems all the time. Not really. Maybe for a bit, but not all the time. Share your joys and triumphs, even if they're small. More. Try bragging rather than complaining. Um, and the last one is, don't make up stuff to torture yourself with. I will have clients say, you know, I just know that he's with this girl. And he's taking her for ice cream at the same place. And then they're singing, you know, show tunes together. And I'm like, you know that this is happening? They're like, no, but I know it. Um, you can't always trust your gut about this kind of thing, um, about if somebody's left you. This is the, I know this seems like I'm being overcomplicated, and I just realized I am. But don't make up stuff to torture yourself with, because you can't really know what's going on in someone else's head or heart. I can, but uh, if your beloved is known as somebody else and you're picturing their life together as one long feast of milk and honey, but you're probably night, not. No one goes dancing down that flower-laden path hand in hand, singing the aforementioned show tunes forever. I mean, unless there are serious drugs involved. Um, so get on with what makes you happy. That's the best thing you can do. Spend wasting your time worrying about or guessing what's going on with him or her or the llama. Um, it's a waste of time because you can't really know. Don't make up stuff to make yourself miserable about. And here's the thing. 
everyone turns into a human being rather than the idealized other that people see themselves at at the beginning of relationships. So if like you're missing her, she's probably gazing at Prince Charming right now and thinking, that whole crown thing is bugging me. So that's about it. Get some exercise, eat good stuff, don't drink too much, your mom is right, you'll feel better. And then Happy New Year, just some stuff I've shared. Hi, Bunny. How can I help, love? Thanks for waiting. Oh, okay. Hi, Bunny. It's, it's you. I was Hi, just Bunny. like, a, I would like to know what's going to be happening in 2020. Okay, my little well, Um, Tell me your birth date, because that's how I connect. It's August 13th, 1948. <clears throat> Uh, I love Leo's. You have the same birthday as the famous director Alfred Hitchcock. Um, okay, it's been. Yeah, and I think Peter um, Castro is August 13th, too. So. Oh, it's a great day. Uh, great day. Um, no, no, great day. So let me, let me just, I'm just tuning in on you. Okay. Um, Bunny, you know you have a certain amount of sort of empathic ability and probably some either mystic or shamanic or psychic you have a, a little bit of other world ability you know that right i can only understand half of what you're saying could you repeat it please oh i was saying darling you know that you have some empathic or intuitive or kind of psychic ability right yeah but i haven't put it to good use yet Okay, you know, just knowing you have it, and it's there, I can see it. Now, I'm going to say that the last few days were very difficult for you. Um, I had last every few days, the last few years. <laughs> oh, the last few years, too. But the last few days, almost all of my psychic and intuitive friends and just half of my darling clients were calling and they were sobbing in, like, in a fetal position, sucking their thumbs. The last few days have been very difficult, especially on sensitives like you. And what's happening is that the old, the la this, all the crap from the last two years, right? It's leaving. What just happened? It's leaving. Happened like is it leaving for sure? For sure? For leaving. Sure. It's leaving. Leaving. Stuff is yeah, it's better. saying goodbye to me for good. <laughs> well, I'll, tell, I'll tell you why. For one, re for one thing, um, there was a huge thing that happened like the day after Christmas, like 12, 13 in the morning. There was a huge eclipse, solar eclipse. We couldn't see it here, but, but the eclipse was in Capricorn, and it was with Jupiter, which is a very, very benevolent, lucky planet. Um, but people who are sensitive to big shifts in the energy got really hit by it. And here's the thing. It's actually, things are going to get much better very soon for you, but when old patterns are leaving, when old patterns of like, oh God, I'm so unhappy and nothing is working out for me, that's changing for you. But when old patterns are about to leave, they get up in your grill first. It's like throwing a drunk out of a bar when I was a bartender as a, as a kid. I mean, not a child, but um, when, when a drunk started to get, if, if, if when a drunk got a little too much and you had the 86 and from the bar, right before he or she left, he would turn around and stay with me. I do have a point. It's a metaphor. Right before you, this person you don't want in your bar is getting thrown out, um, he turns around and goes like, you guys don't know who you're messing with. I'm, I'm like, God is my big brother's son-in-law. And another thing. And then you push him and he's out the door. You never see him again. It's the same thing with the patterns that are leaving right now for you. And what I mean by that is that it's almost like this big astrological thing has kind of magnetized a lot of toxic iron shavings in your soul take this metaphor away from me before somebody gets hurt. Um, so 
you're going to start feeling better around January 14th. Um, one of the things that's been very difficult is you've had a lot of betrayal in your life uh, in the last two years. And you've had a lot of like, oh my gosh, who and what can I trust? Um, you can trust uh, your higher power. You can trust yourself because you are one smart cookie. And I'm just going to do some cards for you. So uh, don't move. Don't even breathe. You can breathe, actually, because I don't want to get sued. Um, so let me, look at, let me look at the month ahead, two months ahead for you. There we go. Oh boy. Uh, so there's somebody around you. Has somebody around you been wasting your money or spending your money or something? Is there somebody in your vicinity who's been kind of wasteful or spendthrift? Is that something that's come up? Yeah. That's leaving. <laughs> just, just so you know. Um, the other thing is, I think there's a part of you right now that's feeling like a lot of regret and what I call kind of toxic nostalgia. And it's like when you start looking at your life and envying the person you used to be, <laughs> which is, which we've all done. And the reason I could come up with a name for it, toxic nostalgia, is because I'm an expert. However, this is a time that when you start to beat yourself up about the past and mistakes, move forward. All of that is behind you. It's not serving you. Just remind yourself something better is ahead and something is coming up for you. That's quite good. Um, and the last judgment card here is kind of getting in your way a bit. The last judgment card um, says that a lot of old regrets and stuff are coming up to be looked at and then healed and thrown out. So this is a great time for you to do a lot of self lot of work on yourself but don't get caught beating yourself up just ask yourself or ask your higher power or as i like to call him god um what you need to know and then listen don't stay there so because here's the thing what's coming up for you uh i the lover's card and i almost never get this card and the lover's card is one of the most powerful big cards in the deck it is the card that says there's either going to be a friendship or a relationship or the mending of an important relationship but when you get the lover's card it's like harmony and love and just really good stuff comes back into your life usually at the exact moment that you've decided this will never happen again um now you are somebody who is very emotional. You're very loving, but because you're very loving, you've gotten hurt in the past. So what I would ask you to do is when this other great new friend, or I think partner, uh, comes into your life in the next couple of months, what I'd like you to do is just kind of say, yes, I mean, if you can give yourself without giving yourself away, that's great. And the, um, the way this, this comes out, the outcome card for you is, is the Queen of Wands, which is a Leo or Sagittarius or Aries woman who has a big circle of friends who really want to help her. And she's generous and she's very practical. Um, she, she's, you've always nurtured the people around you. I think one thing now is that they want you to let them give back to you. So in the next month or so, I'd start sort of plugging back into any communities you have. Because also, if you want a new partner, that's where you're going to find it. So whether that's church or a knitting circle or, I don't know, how to make puppies from scratch, whatever it is. Um, it also feels to me, there needs some psychic stuff for you here that you're either going to be teaching or sharing a talent, something that you did a long time ago that gave you great pleasure, and then you kind of put away and forgot about it. Uh, are you creative in some way, Bunny? 
Did you I'm used to? Are you, yeah. Um, I am. I am very creative. I just haven't put it to use in a very long time. Say that one more time, Bella. What was that? Say it again. I I am very creative, but I haven't put it to use in a very long time. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and you don't have. I haven't been well, so I haven't felt like doing anything. Um, and it feels. I don't want to get too specific about what you've had. It feels. Is some of it in your like? I'm, I'm going to go out in the limb here because I'm getting like from, it's like your root chakra and the next chakra up. So or is this digestive stuff or celiac or something in that area as well? You don't, I'm just saying that's what I'm getting. So it might be digestion. It might I be. I have spinal stenosis. What? I have, I don't know. I have spinal stenosis. Um. Oh, okay. yeah, that's at the bottom of the spine. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's awful. Um, it looks like you had one operation for this. You're going to have another. It looks like in April. Oh no um, no 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 more operations. No 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 one's coming near me. Okay tonight. Never again. You're Bring telling me I'm going to have another oh, operation? Then there's something coming into your life that's either somebody's going to be almost accidentally teaching you or telling you about a, a way of eating or a way of standing or something. You don't even have to worry about it because it's just going to come into your life. Uh, that will help because I mean, back pain is just the worst it is. Um, but I do get the feeling that there's some sort of, it might even be like a meditating or spiritual practice, but there's something coming into your life by April, um, and it feels like it's something more holistic, like a kind of diet or a kind of, I'm not sure, but you're going to, somebody's going to tell you about it. You're going to hear about it. You're going to be like, okay, maybe I'll try that because why not? Um, until that time, what I would suggest is just start getting, having fun with your creativity in little ways. Um, I've, I have one client who just, she was a big fine arts painter, but the pressure of the art world got to her. Now she's, she's getting back in touch with her creativity, which is a joy for her, but she's making like a little dollhouse and making like, you know, it's so cute. Hold on one second. There. Um, sorry. Uh, for you, you have a wonderful sense of color. You have a wonderful sense of design. And even for you doing something as almost it seems silly as getting like a really sort of fancy grown up coloring book and a like six. Yeah, I, I do. I color a lot. It's yeah. funny. I was just you, about to say that. Yeah, I do color. And I use a lot of color. You're, you're decorating. Uh, you have a talent for writing. You can write, you write sort of lovely. You haven't done this for a while, but you write lovely poems. Um, I never and, try poems. What? So hang in there. This is the worst it got was over the past the last two days, the last two months, two years, I'm sorry, have been really difficult. The last two weeks have been, ah! And in the next couple of days, things, you're going to start to feel just a change. You are. And I, I promise. Um, so I'm going to put you put you in i'm going to send you good energy and my i send my listeners watchers that uh, hour of energy a day um if you want to contact me privately my name is perry p-e-r-i like perry winkle lions l-y-o-n-s I, 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 I better write this down hold on i gotta write this down oh no oh. i got a pen i don't have a pen that writes well Feel free to, you know, get in touch. And I've got 30 seconds left, so things are going to get better. Uh, watch, go back on YouTube and watch this video so you can hear what I'm saying. Um, and just, you know, bless you, my dear. And 2020 is going to be a great year. May it be filled with love, prosperity, kittens, and, and calorie-free chocolate cake for all of my cherished ducklings. I'll see you next week. God bless you. Bye-bye.